just took this uh, bison three horse slant trailer in on trade. This has living quarters in it with a bathroom. Um, roughly an eight or nine foot short wall, something to that extent. I, uh, I kind of reminisced a little bit when I peeked in the back. This has uh, the old traditional bison, what I call skylight roof. It's a fiberglass roof that lets light in the horse area for you. See, we do have our saddle rack here, all our bridle hooks, blanket bars, all that good stuff. The saddle rack does telescope out so that you have easy access from the ground to it. You notice that this uh, divider right here does um, adjust so you can kind of cut this off different ways if you want. There is the stud wall on there. And again, you see the, uh, the light that you get from that roof. Decent size awning on here. Probably a good 14 to 16 foot awning. All three stalls have drop down feeders. And all three feeders have the safety gates that you can drop down independently. Um, living quarter area. You've got your traditional booth that will fold down. Now, I, I was with someone earlier, and they looked at this and said, oh, it's got water damage. And no, that's not water damage. When these people got to their site, they left the door open, and that's just a little bit of sun fading. And you have that anywhere. You'll have that in cars and homes. Use it. That just tells you that they used it, you know. Something I did notice up here is they have a soft-touch roof. Uh, the cool part about that is it really, really knocks down the amount of noise that you can hear in here. Um, at night, once you close that door, it'll it'll be very dead quiet in here, which is nice if you have a horse that likes to uh, you know talk at night. Stove top cover. Um, I like the extra big closet right here. You can never have enough storage space. You always need more boots. <laughs> nice little shower with a stool right here. And this does have the pass-through door from horse to rider area. So give us a call. 800-256-5196. Halet Auto and RV of Coldwater, Michigan.